up? This is Kansas Simmons, academic success expert and leading authority on student achievement, as well as the coolest guy with 7.25 fingers. Hey, today I want to talk to you about a subject that uh, I believe a lot of students deal with. Uh, just the other day, I noticed in my email boxes, uh, some students were emailing me and talking about some of the challenges that they're having in school. I noticed a consistent trend. Uh, one student by the name of Tabitha said, uh, Kansas, I have uh, the simple challenge of staying focused in school. And then there was another young lady, actually she's a mother, and she works a full-time job, and uh, she's also a student. She says, I have the same challenge every year, staying focused and consistent with study time. So I wanted to create this simple video to uh, help Leah and Tabitha and maybe other students out there like yourself who battle with this area of focusing in school. Now, as I start this, I want to read a quote to you uh, by a guy named Tony Schwartz. And Tony Schwartz, he's the co-author of the book, um, The Power of Full Engagement. And Tony said this. He said, the greatest power of the human mind is to focus on one thing at a time. Now, we all know that we can only keep one thought or one idea in our conscious mind and well focusing on one thing over an extended period of time is what gives us great leverage. He also goes on to say that the problem in the modern day is that there are a lot of distractions and interruptions and other things competing for our attention. So we lose focus. And the greatest tragedy is not that we are losing focus, is that we are losing the ability to focus. What this simply means is that our mind is created in such a way that it focuses on one thought at one time. But what happens a lot of times as a student, we may focus on one thought and then another thought may come and another thought may come, another, another thought may come, and then we're absolutely distracted by everything that's going on. But what will happen, what can happen, if you choose to focus on one thing at a time? I like to compare focusing um, like a muscle. Some studies have said that you can focus the amount of time of your age. So if you're five years old, they say you should be able to focus for five minutes. I don't know if that's true or not, or maybe you're 30 and focus for 35 minutes or 15, 15 minutes. Focus is like a muscle. It has to be developed. Now, <laughs> I've been trying to work on my biceps a little bit, and I realized that if I want to build my biceps, I have to focus my attention consistently on building that bicep to get some growth. Focus is the same way. You have to build that focus muscle. Now I want to give you three things that you can do to uh, build this focus muscle. Here's the first thing. When you're setting some time to study or to focus on some schoolwork, I want you to set a goal. I want you to have a goal in mind. What do I want to accomplish in this set time? So number one, set the goal. Maybe the goal is to read 20 pages in your school book. Maybe the goal is to uh, write uh, your essay and complete your essay. Maybe your goal is to go over all of your homework and notes for the last week. Set and write down the goal. And then number two, I want you to set aside a specific amount of time to focus. Here's what I mean. Uh, maybe you have a, you've seen a kitchen timer, you know, the one where uh, your mom may have in the kitchen and when she's cooking that turkey or that cake, she sets the timer and it, it clicks down and it says, bing. Well, you can do the same thing. You get a kitchen timer and set it for, let's say, 15 minutes. And for 15 minutes, choose to focus on one thing for that 15 minutes. Knock out all distractions, shut down the computer, shut the cell phone down, shut the TV down, get rid of all the distractions and choose to focus on one thing for 15 minutes. Build that muscle up to 15 minutes. And then I want you to push yourself to go to 30 minutes. Set your timer, maybe you got a timer on your stopwatch, on your cell phone, set it for 30 minutes, let it count backwards, and choose to focus on that subject for 30 minutes, and then push it up to 60 minutes, developing that muscle called focus. And so when it's time to study, number one, set the desired goal, and two, set the desired time for you to focus. Now, I encourage you to 
push yourself to about 60 minutes, about 50 minutes, because that's normally the, the amount of time that you're in the classroom. So set the focus time for about 50 minutes, and then once you're done focusing, here's number three, reward yourself. How do you reward yourself? Hey, you can reward yourself with an ice cream cone. You can reward yourself by taking 15 to 20 minutes playing a video game. You can reward yourself by taking a walk, picking up the telephone, calling a friend. Hey, I love to play golf. I love to swing my golf club. So sometimes I will work for 60 minutes or two minutes, uh, 60 minutes or two hours. And then I will go reward myself. I go down to the golf range and just hit some golf balls. What's the reward for you? So if you're having challenges where this area of focus is concerned, like uh, my friends Leah and Tabitha, there are three things you can do. Set the specific goal when you sit down to study. Number two, set the specific time for you to have intended focus, build that muscle. And three, decide on the reward. How will you reward yourself after you've spent uh, that amount of time focusing for school or focusing on your homework? It's pretty good. Can you use that? Well, if you have any other challenges or, or frustrations in school, I would love to hear about it. Just leave me a comment and actually I will uh, shoot another video specifically for you. Make sure you leave your name. And just simply tell me, hey, this is the challenge that I'm having in school and I will do my best to make sure that uh, you get all the answers you need. Again, my name is Cantor Simmons, the coolest guy with 7.25 fingers. And remember this, only one game in life counts and that's your A game. Have a blessed day. <laughs>